Hey guys, Spencer here with another product video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this really nice and modern designed Sony SLV-779HF. This thing is really nice. It's gonna fit in perfectly with any entertainment center. It's got a basic design, yet it's got all the features that you would want. And it is basic, but it's also built very well. It's got a heavy duty design, just it's not over engineered or anything. I really like this one because it doesn't have too much on the front panel to where you're overwhelmed, but it's got just enough features to where you can control the whole VCR. You've got a power button right here, your input for recording onto VHS if you plan on doing any of that, and then easy setup so that you could set up the VCR when you first plug it in, and then the eject button, channel plus and minus, and also you can use that for tracking and then pause, rewind, fast forward, play, and stop. And then there's a record button to begin any recording. This Sony VCR is cable box control capable. It's got auto clock set, which means it will automatically set the time on the display. It's got VCR plus for more recording options for setting your timer recordings. And then it's got quick response, which means it responds quickly to any button usage. Then it's got hi-fi stereo, which is a must. When you own a VCR, you need to have hi-fi stereo. That's gonna provide a better audio experience as opposed to mono. Then it's got a 19 micron head and APC or adaptive picture control. On the rear panel of it, you've got all of your inputs and outputs. One of them is the control S or cable box control output. And then you've got a line input for recording onto VHS. That's going to be a composite and analog hi-fi audio. And then your standard line output for connecting it to the TV will be composite and analog audio. And then you've got your tuner input and output. And you could also change the RF channel right there. The remote has a pretty simple design. There isn't too much to it. At the top, you'll Keep it set to video most likely. If you want to control your TV, you can set it to that, but you will need to code it. So we'll keep it on video, and then you've got the power and eject button. Auto VCRs don't offer an eject button, so it's cool that this one does. And then you've got a few other options, the counter remain, audio monitor, display. Um, I'll show you all of those and how they appear on the TV once we get this set up in a moment. And then you've got slow playback for playing back the tape slowly, times two for 2x speed, and then your normal fast forward, pause, stop, and rewind functions. And then you've also got your composite audio video cables for connecting it to the TV. And you will also receive a manual with it. Let's go ahead and get it all connected to the TV just so that I can show you how it works. The first thing that you're gonna do in order to do this is plug in the red, white, and yellow cable to the output on the Sony VCR and then connect the other end of that to the TV. And then make sure your TV's on the correct input. Then you can go ahead and put your media in the device.
January 1st, 2000. That was pretty much everything that you need to know about this awesome Sony VCR. These things are really cool, they're modern, and they are getting rare these days, so get one while you can. Make sure you get it from us at spencertified.com and you can order online or over the phone. Thanks for watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you like this video.